Hi, this is Quant Nomad. Welcome to my channel. In uh, this video, I will show you how you can create a custom screener in uh, PineScript and how you can send uh, this screener as uh, trim view alerts. So um, just um, some few months ago, I think I uh, already published a uh, a video about how you can create like a simple uh, custom screener in PineScript. But after that, TradingView um, introduced uh, alerts on strategies and there you can send kind of as, as alerts, custom messages. So now I created a bit more advanced screener you can use to uh, create alerts based on your conditions. So now let's go and look at the code of this screener. So first, it's important topic is now it's not a study it's a strategy um, here I have just uh, some inputs for uh, my custom function so basically for as an example I took RSI overbought so basically I want to uh, scan uh, multiple products and get ones uh, which are overbought above my like 70 level and next I have a bunch of inputs it's like about 40 inputs with uh, with the symbols I want to scan well, you can ask why 40 because this is limitation of number of security function call you can call in PineScript, you cannot do more. Um, next, you can find here a screener function. So basically, this is a function, um, like most important here, it basically will uh, be, um, it, it will be, it will be run for, for every uh, symbol in your list and um, the one with the uh, satisfying condition will return to your screener. And as you can see here, first I calculate my RSI value and I calculate my condition. So this condition should be true or false. And I output like two variables. So I output my RSI level and I also output my condition level and I will just add RSI level to my screener just for more information. Nice part is that now you can output multiple variables from a security function. So basically here you can actually calculate even more conditions. You will have a bit more kind of complicated logic when you compose your screener kind of label, but um, it's not so complicated. So you can actually kind of check multiple conditions here if you want and output multiple values from each symbol as well if you want. So um, also here, just um, here I have like a rounding number. This is uh, basic stuff just to have like a pretty values in my uh, sc uh, screener label. So it's uh, very basic. And uh, next you can see here, I have like 40 um, security calls when I just call for every uh, symbol, I call my screener function and basically that's it. And next I kind of compose my screener. So based on my condition, if my condition is true, uh, I take my uh, previous kind of uh, value of my label and I add um, the symbol and value of RSI. So it's, as you can see, it's quite simple. I have 40 um, expressions here as well. So it's quite simple. And in the end, I will also add um, like Telegram hashtag. I need this to redirect my uh, alerts from uh, trading you to telegram it can be quite handy for you as well i have a video how you can do this with, with alert latron check it out it's quite um, simple as well so also here i plot like a label so here you can see this is my label it updates constantly with a uh, newest new new values so it's um, pretty so this is kind of uh, uh, logic of my um kind of to, to this level, this is basically logic of my previous uh, custom screener, so it's quite simple. Interesting stuff happen next. So here I create, I call this uh, dummy strategy, and logic of the strategy is very simple. So basically, I just check my position, and um, if my previous position is uh, zero, um, so basically if I have no position uh, for previous bar, I enter into a long position, and if I have position um, for previous bar, I, I close it. So basically, what it what is happening is that basically at every bar close, there will be an order, close, close order or entry order. That's it. So it's kind of very simple. I also added bar state is confirmed um, because sometimes you can receive like alerts multiple times per bar. So with this um, built-in variable, with this built-in kind of condition. You will receive your alert your an order will be executed only once at bar close so it's quite simple and also i added this condition when uh, time is 
above um, today basically uh, because I if, if in other cases when you have like a very small time frame and you add this kind of a strategy to your um, to your chart it will uh, show you like uh, error that you know number of um, order exceeded and you know you won't be able to create alerts on it or work with this stuff so this is how it looks and um, now you can go and create an alert here I already created an alert and alert is pretty simple so basically I have my webhook URL to send my alerts to my telegram and as my message I have only strategy.order.alert message that's it it's very simple and um, as you can see here I already have some alerts and they look pretty good so basically what we expect it to do it does so it scans all my 40 stocks and it outputs only once who has like RSI more than 70 and you have values of RSI as well so it's as you can see it's quite simple and quite nice uh, screener you can go to uh, telegram and you will see pretty much the same kind of picture so we have like really nice screener we have uh, all the symbols with RSI more than 70 and we have every size values here as well so as you can see it's quite simple um, just uh, you just need to change you know function uh, you want to uh, run across all your symbols and that's it you will have basically the same results in the comments I will share a link to uh, to my to my strategy to to this screener in on trading view feel free to use it uh, let me know in comments uh, if you know how to make the screener even better so I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.